All right, so uh, we've got the Charlie Sheen out of our system. We got the Rango. We got the Adjustment Bureau. You know what that means, Wade? It's time for Parental Guidance. Oh, yeah. With the Legos and the graphics and the music and the wooing. Wow. Uh, Philip Nelson? Hey, are guys. You, how are you doing? Are you, hey, are you Philip. there? Hello, Philip Nelson. How art thou? I am terrific. I'm coming to you live from Louisiana tonight. I'm sitting here on the edge of the bayou in North Louisiana, getting ready to share a really cool movie with the viewers of Stupid for Movies. Now, awesome. uh, uh, what, uh, what movie will you be sharing with us? Well, you know, this movie is one that I gave my son for Christmas, and when he saw the name of the movie and saw the cover, he didn't even want to open it, and it's <laughs> The Princess Bride. Wait, so he didn't want to open it because he was embarrassed because it said Princess and Bride on it? Well, he was like, I don't think this movie's supposed to be for me. You know, it's about it's a princess is in the name, and it shows two people gazing into each other's eyes, and that's the last thing a twelve-year-old wants in any movie. <laughs> and so, so he watched it, and what did he think? Well, I made him watch it, um, and <laughs> it's become one of the favorite films in our entire family. I think everybody in our family tries to throw in, you know, anybody want a peanut as much as they can. So you have to watch the movie to actually get that bizarre reference. But that's an Andre the Giant quote from the movie. But yeah, it's, it is a, it's a terrific movie. Um, you know, it, it's a fairy tale with a lot of humor. And what I love about this movie is the first time you watch it, you like it. I mean, at least with me. I mean, you guys are movie experts so you might i'm sure you loved it the first time you watched it but i thought it was really i thought it was funny the first time i watched it but the second time you watch it you start noticing so much of the details the jokes the inside jokes the and and it, it just becomes you know a cult family classic so uh you know i i wanted to review this one a few months ago but you guys talked about it in a uh in a segment so i kind of saved it until hopefully you forgot and let me sneak this one in. <laughs> well, uh, uh, what? The, uh, oh. Oh. Uh oh. Well, we're we're gonna have. Yeah. Well, no, it, it's a great one. I think it's a terrific film. It's uh, it probably one of the best films Rob Reiner's ever directed, and uh, lots of great cameos in it. Billy Crystal and uh, Have Fun Storm in the Castle. Have Fun Storm in the Castle, and Carol Kane yeah. plays, the, uh, plays the wife. wife. Yeah. Christopher Guest is one of my favorites. I love Christopher Guest. So it's almost like anyone who's anyone in the late '80s made an appearance in this movie. So I'll get to the rankings because we do rank every every movie and parental guidance in various categories, so that parents can make an educated decision when choosing whether or not to watch this. And uh, in the action category, we're going to give it a five because this is. Uh, an action fantasy film, lots of swordplay, lots of fighting, and you know it's action-packed from beginning to end. In the romance category, I'm going to give it a three, and it really almost could be a two, but you know it's it's got some you know some cleavage, it's got some uh, whoa, you know. Whoa, 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 hang on for a second, cleavage. Kind of show you running here. All romance has all romance ends with good cleavage. So um, anyway, I'm going to give that a three, but it's a, it's a borderline two to three. So you know, take it or leave it. In the language category, um, officially I gave it a four because there are some Spanish curse words in there. But since um, unless if you live outside of Southern Texas, you might not notice this. So it could be a two or a four depending on if you speak Spanish. But let's go ahead and give it a four just for safety. And in the peril category, I'm going to give it a four um, because, you know, there's a lot of scenes where, you know, the star of the movie um, is actually being tortured, you know, lots of sword play, lots of danger, you know, he's fighting, you know, the, the prince is trying to kill the princess, you know, there's, there's peril around every corner. But I didn't give it a five because it's done in a humorous way, so it's actually not scary to kids, but... You know, some parents do object to just general sword play for their children. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a four. But I'm going to give this one the highest, most awesome rating I can give it in the adult enjoyment category, and that's a five. Because this is a classic movie. You know, whether you have kids or not, Princess Bride should be in your collection. And, uh, you know, it, I just had to, had to bring this one to the table for all those uh, people out there looking for something great to watch with the kids that can really, you know, become something you watch over and over again as the years go by. And the jokes just keep getting better and better. And it's got Andre the Giant in it. So what more could you ask? <laughs>
That honor is the, true. Honor the giant and Wallace Shawn, uh, you know, the great Wallace Shawn. And they work so closely great. together. Beautiful. You know, that stuff. line about the peanut is the Wallace Shawn is, is yeah. like, I don't want any more rhymes. <laughs> you know, and I mean it. And then Andre the Giant, as the the shot is a wide shot of them in the boat, he goes, "Anybody want a peanut?" So it's really, really dumb, but it's really awesome at the same time. Very fun. Now I, I think that's on that's on Blu-ray now, right? There yes, is a is. Uh, Princess Boy yes, Blu- Blu-ray that came out moderately recently. My name is Diego Montoya. You killed my, my father. father. Prepare to die. <laughs> it's quotable. It's quotable. It's, it's, it's endlessly very, you know quotable. What? That was that was at a time when Rob Reiner was on this streak. And Goldman was on a streak. Mm. You know. You know, uh, you know, it's funny because when you, to kind of digress a little bit, when you're thinking about uh, directors, filmmakers who are on these streaks where they just do good yeah. film after good film, the only equivalent nowadays would be Pixar. I mean, has Pixar made a bad film? They, I they, don't, well, they, they made a film that they made one that's been like less awesome than the previous one, but made, they have not made a stinker. Whereas true. Rob Reiner went, went all the way to North before he finally made a stinker. <laughs> But wow. North was like, like that was like like six or eight movies oh in. Oh my gosh! Is that the Iran Contra hearings? Why, why, why have you? You just like you just bummed everybody's high. By All right, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we get a, can we get okay. a final tally from uh, Philip there? Yeah, Philip, what's the final let's, tally let's on show, that one? Let's show the card here. Okay, so uh, action, we're gonna give it a five. Romance, a three. Language, a four. Peril, a four. And adult enjoyment, a five. So. So, Philip, I do want to say I can't believe for the cutting the cord segment you guys didn't mention Hot Shots Part Two. That is available on Netflix. Oh. Well, oh. we left it to you. We left it to you. Classy. So, I'm Philip, going for the classy stuff. So, Philip, since you're in the Bayou, would you say Princess uh, Bride is a uh, Bayou rent or burn? It's definitely oh. a Bayou. Bayou all the way. Cool. Oh. Very oh, punny. Geez. Very punny. Thank you. All right, Philip Nelson, everybody, with parental guidance. Thank you, Philip. <laughs>